Some interesting Hyperloop news coming out of Europe. Looks like there's a planned Hyperloop to connect the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Futurism reports to us that, quote, recently HTT, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, launched a new deal with Slovakia and the Czech Republic to build a Hyperloop system that will connect Bratislava and Brno. It's a first step toward the plan to connect all of Europe with a Hyperloop. A 3,000 square meter facility, which is roughly 38,000 square feet, at Frank Casal Airport in Toulouse will act as the company's base. Toulouse is at the very heart of the European aerospace industry and is centrally located for manufacturing the Hyperloop trains to be used in the Central European line. If you're unfamiliar with the Hyperloop concept, it's basically a very long tube connecting two regions and inside that tube is a capsule filled with people that will move from one city to another at roughly 1200 kilometers an hour or 800 miles an hour and this concept has actually been around for a while but it wasn't fully popularized until 2013 when Elon Musk blew our minds telling us all about it in several discussions he had with uh, media publications and whatnot. Now what's really interesting is that there have been several talks of connecting several cities around the world. In North America uh, it was buzzed around that Vegas and LA would be connected. There's apparently a Hyperloop planned to connect Toronto and Montreal and it's just to put that into perspective for you it takes roughly five and a half hours to drive from Toronto to Montreal. It's believed that this Hyperloop will cut travel time down to just 30 minutes. So this is huge. And what's also really interesting is that in Europe, going back to the story for a moment, this is just the beginning. <laughs> they envision having um, a very complex system of Hyperloops connecting all major cities in Europe, similar to the very sophisticated uh, metro systems that pretty much connect all of Central Europe. So this is very interesting and a lot of futurists and engineers believe this could dramatically change the way we view real estate forever. Because if you consider what really drives high housing prices in a lot of cities, it's scarcity. Um, you know, big cities have most of the entertainment, most of the jobs. And when there are a bunch of people living in a city um, and there are fewer homes, the price of a home is obviously going to be higher. But, you know, if we live in a world where you can just work in one city but live in another, that kind of changes the whole dynamic of scarcity. Because if you can just commute to Toronto every day while living in Montreal, you're taking away people's need to live in that city. So, and if, when we apply that type of technology around the world, cities like New York, London, if people can just commute there for work, but go back to like Lexington or Liverpool, after a hard day's work, I mean, obviously the housing prices in those cities are gonna fall dramatically because people don't have to live there. That scarcity is gone. A lot of people like Peter Diamantis believes that the cost of living is going to significantly plummet in the next several decades, in part because of very disruptive and innovative transportation systems like the Hyperloop. So there you have it. The Czech Republic and Slovakia will be linked soon via the first Hyperloop. Um, I think this is a fantastic idea. I think technology really is our savior. And, you know, given the challenges facing us tomorrow, you know, they can't be solved with the types of solutions that have been put forward over the past several decades. You know, we're entering a brave new world and we need brave new solutions. And I think the Hyperloop is one of those brave new solutions. So kudos to Europe. Now, if you have any additional insight that you could provide to the Hyperloop or this type of technology in general, please leave an insightful comment below. 
Um, I'm still <laughs> in Minneapolis, Minnesota, wrapping up my last day of training. I'm heading back to Canada tomorrow where I will be back to my regular set, I guess. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.